on November 30, the Shenzhou 15 manned spaceship successfully docked with the front port of Tianke core module, carrying the fourth batch of crew to China's space station. For the first time, Chinese astronauts have realized reunion in space, and first six crew members are on board simultaneously, presenting a historic scene drawing much attention from foreign media. Space.com, an American website, described this as highly anticipated in an article, noting that they will join the Shenzhou 14 astronauts aboard Tiangong and complete China's first ever and highly anticipated crew handover in orbit. According to Lin He Zhaobao, a newspaper from Singapore, the three astronauts aboard the Shenzhou 15 spaceship are expected to stay in space for six months, and their mission involves the first in-orbit rotation in China's space history. Another American website CollectSpace.com said that after autonomously docking with the Tiangong space station, the astronauts will be welcomed aboard by the Shenzhou 14 crew. The Shenzhou 15 manned spaceflight mission is the sixth flight mission of China's manned spaceflight program this year and the last one in the construction phase of China's space station. It is reported by SputnikNews.com from Russia that during the Shenzhou 15 mission, the last construction stage of the Chinese orbital station will be completed and the stage of its use and development will officially begin. News from CNN said the liftoff of Shenzhou 15 astronauts to China's space station will mark the beginning of the country's long-term presence in space and is a major achievement for China's space program. According to VOANews.com, China's crewed space program is officially three decades old this year. In 2003, China became only the third country after the US and Russia to put a human into space. The program has proceeded methodically and almost entirely without outside support. China's space station belongs not only to China, but also to the world. Alana Krolikovsky, a scholar at the Misery University of Science and Technology, who specializes in science and technology policy, told Popsy.com that China's space station is very attractive to a lot of international partners that don't have such comprehensive space programs, and not just developing countries, but even major European countries can find attractive areas of cooperation with China. Weird, a magazine wrote in its UK edition that China's station will offer some opportunities for partnerships through which other countries can send scientific experiments and astronauts to Tiangong. China's space program, marked by one splendid chapter after another, is the pride of the Chinese people and will benefit humanity with its achievements.